Hey everybody, this is John with Aperture Digital and today we're going to be looking at Metabox clonable field groups and how to query those with the Bricks Builder query loop. First off, I got to say we've survived the winter storm up here in the north. It's been really cold and I've had a ton of fun playing with Metabox and Bricks 161. So if you haven't checked it out, check that uh, 161 out and see what all it can do with the new uh, grid functionality in CSS grid. All right, let's dive into it here. FAQs with Metabox. So I'm using a custom uh, post type called FAQs and a field group, custom field group uh, that is clonable. And this is dynamically querying the database and pulling this in. So here's an example with an accordion and then an example with just a container and some blocks to dis, uh, display the questions and answers. Let's jump over to the builder just so you can see how this is laid out. And in the tutorial, we'll go in much more detail. But really, the trick is to get the query to work is using a query for the custom post type and then a query for the field group. And I think that's not the most intuitive, but that's how it works. So this first query is querying a type of post and post type FAQs. And then on the actual accordion uh, wrapper here uh, with content wrapper. So we've got the accordion, we've got a wrapper for the custom post type and then a wrapper for the content. This query is querying the meta box uh, group field. That is where the magic's happening. That's the hardest part about getting this set up. And you have to do that in order uh, for your queries to work properly. So again, we'll go in a bunch of detail, get down into the, the weeds here on how to do that and have two different examples. And by the end of this, you should be able to query your clonable fields uh, with Metabox and Bricks Builder. All right, let's dive in. All right, we are on the WordPress backend and the first thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to Metabox and create a post type. Click new post type, and this is going to be FAQ, FAQs for the plural name and FAQ for the singular. And my slug is gonna be CPT dash FAQ, just so this is a very unique slug here. And I'm gonna click publish. And that's all I'm gonna do here. I don't need to go in at this moment and edit any of these other settings. So that part's done and you should see your new custom post type here. The next thing we're going to do is go back to the meta box, uh, drop down here and go to custom fields. And we're going to add a new custom field called FAQ group and click publish. We're going to add a field and this is a very special field and it's called the group field. So go down to layout and select group field. And then when you click in here, we're going to call this our FAQ group field. And our ID looks good. It's unique. And click update. And what that's going to allow you to do is add subfields. But before we do that, I want to talk about this being clonable. So if we make this clonable, that means all of these subfields will come along every time we clone this group field. So we're going to check that on. We want to make the first field, which is our FAQ group field, clonable. That way, when we start adding subfields, those will get cloned along with our group field. So the first field I'm going to add as a subfield is going to be a text field. And this is going to be my F A I'll just call it question. And then in my ID, I'm going to call this FAQ dash question. And it's a text field. And let's click update. Go back into our group field. 
Now you see our question, we're going to add another subfield and this is going to be our answer. And this is going to be our text area. We'll call this answer. And for the ID FAQ dash answer, uh, or underscore, it doesn't really matter, you just want it to be unique. So that looks good to me, it's a text area. And that is it. One last thing we need to do is head over to the settings on our uh, custom field here and make sure that we are applying this to the FAQ custom post type. And click update. So let's go over what we did. We created an FAQ group field and the type is a group. We created two subfields, one for question, one for answer. And we made this clonable on the FAQ group field. So check that box on, add your two fields for question and answer. Uh, the question is a text, the answer is a text area. We went over to settings and said, apply this only for FAQ custom post types. Click update. So let's head on over to the FAQ custom post type and add a new post type. And this is going to be general FAQs. I like to do it this way in case I wanted to group different type of FAQs. So if I had hours of operation FAQs or pricing or products, I could, if I wanted to, break those out into their own uh, posts. Or you could just put them all in one uh, general FAQ like we're going to do here. So what you see here is our FAQ group and our question and our answer. So let's do question number one. And this is going to be answer number one. And then the power of this group field and being clonable is when we clone it, it brings over our questions and answers. How cool is that? Question two. Uh oh. I add a couple more here. You'll see what I'm doing. Question three, question four. Answer four, answer three, answer two. Awesome and click update. So now we've got our question uh, group field and it is clonable and we can add as many as we want here. And when we start to query this with bricks, you'll see how we can bring that down. Uh, what we're gonna do with bricks is use a uh, an accordion. I like to use those. So I'm gonna jump over to the builder where I've got a page set up. Let's refresh it. And uh, we've got just a section container and heading with this quick little heading here and I'm going to add an accordion nestable. So you'll see we already have several items here. I'm just going to delete this item right here. And then you'll see we have this title and content. To get this to work with an accordion, what you'd want to do is wrap this in a block. So I'm gonna wrap with block, and then I'm gonna drag my title and content in there. And the reason we need to do that is we need to query the custom post type here, and then the field group here. And that's all you really have to do. So let's do that. We're at our accordion, let's drop down to the item, and this is gonna be our FAQ CPT. And this is going to be our FAQ field group. Maybe that'll make more sense. So let's select FAQ CPT and turn that on. And let's go grab our posts. Post type is going to be FAQs. Hit save. And then here, we're going to do another query loop on our FAQ field group. Turn on the query loop and let's go grab our field group. Hit save. 
and let's go check it out on the front end. Hopefully I did this right. If not, we'll come back and tinker around with the query. All right, so we don't have the query quite right yet. Let's head back over and see what we've done here. Um, FAQ field group. Oh, yeah, all right. Let's come over to our heading and change this to our custom field. Should be at the very bottom. Um, where is it at? FAQ question. Hit save. Let's come to the rich text for the content. And do FAQ answer. Hit save. All right. One little mistake there, but we fixed it pretty quickly. So yeah, now we have a, I guess in Metabox you call it a clonable field. In uh, the other software, what's it called? advanced custom fields. I don't really use that, but they call that a repeater. Um, so this I believe would be the equivalent. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not uh, an advanced custom fields pro. I just use Metabox. So let's go and test it out and see if we add one more. We'll call this question five. Answer five, hit update. Uh oh, question five, answer five. We should see that on the front end when we refresh. Boom, there you go. So that's how you would do that with an accordion. Let's duplicate this section and see if we could do this without an accordion. So let's delete that. And this is going to be accordion. And this is gonna be um, plain, we'll call it plain for now. So let's add a container in here. And this is going to be our FAQ CPT. And then let's add a block inside that. And this is going to be our FAQ field group. Save that. Okay, I had to refresh the builder quickly there, so let's jump back into it. Let's hit our FAQ CPT and say use query loop. We're going to do this again with our type is post, and our post type is going to be FAQs. And our field group is going to be our Metabox group FAQ group field. So it's not a post. It's a very special, unique uh, item we're querying here, and that's our Metabox group group field. So if we add a, let's add another block inside here, and then add our heading for the question. and add a text. Let's use basic text for now. And so for our heading, let's use our dynamic data button and go select our question. I love how you can <laughs> search for these like this. It's so elegant. Thank you, Bricks. You're such a great builder. Um, so there's our question. And same way we did it with the accordion, here is our answer answer. Hit save. Now let's see what happens when we refresh on the front end. There we go. So now we're querying each one of those in. It doesn't look as good, I think, as the accordion, but you get the idea of how we pull all that data in. And this is the power of dynamic data. And how this works, I think the easiest is by creating that custom post type and then creating that field group that applies to that custom post type. Then you query the top, you know, as we drill down, let's go query that custom post type and say, hey, bring me back just those uh, posts or uh, whatever is in that specific post type. 
and then let's go ahead and query that field group and then wrap it all up in a block right here so that we can do something like gap double dash m i'm using automatic css here so that we can get a little bit different styling um, and then maybe we would want to do something like margin bottom medium because we use gap m let's use margin bottom m so that our spacing is the same and now we've got this nice equal space so that's how i do it if i want to create a faq or anything where you want to use a repeater or clonable field it's called a clonable field in metabox uh, what you need to make sure you have is your cpt on your query and then drill down one level deep and go and query your metabox group and if we jump back over to wordpress backend let's go look one more time at our custom field and you want to make sure that this first one is your field type group and that it's clonable and then add whatever you want in your subfields and that's it i hope uh, this tutorial helps you out and if you find that it did please like and subscribe and feed that algorithm uh, it helps me out uh, when people like this channel and i will keep making more videos like this so i hope you have a great uh, rest of your break here and have a happy new year coming up. Talk to you soon. Bye.